Hey my friends, welcome to the Vitruvian Life. Today is Wednesday, September 25th. And today was a better day at work. Still not great, but better. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what the next two days will bring. But I'm not here to talk about my work today. I'm here to talk about a challenge that I'm going to commit myself to, which might not be the smartest thing to do, but I feel like doing it. So uh, a couple of days ago, I was, uh, I guess it was Saturday when I was home alone, I think. I was, uh, well, I was tired, of course, and I, try, I, I thought, well, let's just watch some YouTube stuff and some random YouTube stuff. I tend to do that sometimes, just watch some YouTube, uh, see what the homepage brings me. But I'm subscribed to uh, this channel called uh, Wired, which is a channel that's, uh, talks about all different types of things. Um, Sometimes the one thing that led me to it was uh, a professional uh, ac a teacher of accents or in speech. Uh, he was well seeing. Uh, well, he was commenting on scenes of uh, uh, actors and in, uh, in in movies. To well, and he was telling the audience, me, <laughs> uh, how well or how bad it was. And also there was one real spy who was um, talking about scenes in the movie where people were disguised, uh, spies were disguised, like films, like movies, like uh, The Born Identity and all that stuff. It was very interesting. And so I'm subscribed and I went to that channel a couple of days ago, Saturday, and I saw this recent, quite recent video. And that video uh, was called How to Solve a Rubik's Cube. So, hey, I was not doing anything interesting. So I decided to play that video and, well, to see what it w was all about. Now, the video claims, or the guy in the video claims that you can learn to make, to complete one of these, the Rubik's Cube, uh, if you learn, if you do this for two weeks, following his steps and following his uh, tips, you should be able to do it in less than a minute. Now, I'm not crazy, right? Uh, and I know myself and I know how busy I am sometimes um, and how cats can be distracting me. So I decided let's do this challenge, uh, but let's keep it a little bit easier, a little more simple, not crazy like let's do one in one minute but I'm giving myself two weeks so in two weeks from now as the video said I'm going to also do it two weeks I'm going to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube in under five minutes All right if I do better hey great but in two weeks I should be able to make a video it won't be the most exciting one with me doing these things and making and completing a Rubik's Cube. Now this, I've known this thing for all my life. Uh, well, at, well, not all my life, but for a long time. So this exists. I don't know how old Rubik's Cubes are. Uh, now that I ask, let's, let's see if we can figure it out when it was Rubik's Cube. Uh, is there a Wikipedia stuff here? Uh, history. So it's, 19, 1974 uh, apparently and that's that's how old it is so and I've never managed to to make it happen that I solve this one okay everybody you know after a while can maybe solve one side mostly by accident but I'm going to try to complete this and the first steps should be of quite doable but in the end they work with real algorithms so the things I really have to uh, to remember and, and, and learn by heart and that's not going to be easy because especially because of work a lot of things going on is in his brains lately so but I'm going to so the first step I'm always uh, so I just before filming I saw the first part of the video again the first step was to create this cross here so the white the, the yellow centerpiece surrounded by these four white pieces so uh 
I managed to do that. It wasn't too hard, but still it took me a little bit of time. And this should be the base for me to start working on completing one side. And I think the next step is to complete the one side and the entire side bottom row. Then we go to the next bottom row. And then it is a whole bunch of algorithm stuff that I hope I can manage to, uh, to remember and to work out uh, to create a completely soft cube. So why do I do this on YouTube? Because it's of course a motivation. I told this to you, it's out there in the open. I, <laughs> I'm going to commit myself on making this happen. I, I think it would be cool to be one of those people who can solve this in a way. Especially since I'm almost 40 and I never got myself to solve one of these. I've never seen in real life, I've seen videos of course of people who, who are doing this in a couple of seconds. Um, but I've never seen anybody, I did once, I did once on a bus ride. I saw this little fellow, I think he was maybe 10 years old, maybe even younger, he was like ready and he was like uh, looking outside of the bus and he was mixing it uh, up again and <laughs> it was crazy and people in the bus were like whoa <laughs> pretty impressed so maybe I get some people impressed as well with my skills my future skills so step one is done the next steps well I guess the video says the first time you'll do about 90 minutes to solve it so I have some time on my hands to do that. All right, that's it for today, folks. So let me know in the comments, have you already solved this one? How frustrated be, uh, have you become trying to solve this one? I, I always feel so frustrated, but now I'm going to learn and we'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you already know how to solve this. Um, I'm not going to look at any other videos, they are probably a million videos about how to solve this. I'm going to focus on one system, on one way, so I don't get confused because this is going to confuse me quite a bit, that's for sure. Thanks for watching folks, i see you all next time, probably Friday. Thank you for watching again, see you soon, bye bye.